So reducing fractions is another way of saying simplifying fractions. So to make it simple, to write it, or in other words, write in lowest, in lowest terms, right? Or write it in the lowest numbers possible. So here you'll see a bunch of numbers and they are not in lowest terms. You wanna write it in lowest terms. So, so here, two fourths could be written in a smaller numbers. And we always wanna simplify our answers to have its smallest numbers. So when we simplify, what we want to ask ourselves is what does the top and the bottom have in common that I can divide by, right? What does the top and bottom have in common that it's divisible by, that you can divide it by? So here, that's the thought bubble that I'm going to have. So two and four, what numbers do they have in common that they're both divisible by? Two, right? So you can write it down if you want, or you can do it in your head. So I say, I divide the top by two and I divide the top bottom by two. Because again, the rule of fractions, whatever you do top, you must do to the bottom. So when I divide this, what do I get? One half. And there it is. Right? That is simplified term. 35 over 40. What are they both divisible by? Five, right? So, so they're both divisible by five. And again, I cannot emphasize the importance of what we did in week one where we went over the multiplication table and I said, you have to get this memorized. Do not rely on your calculator. If you memorize the numbers from the multiplication table, you'll be able to look at this and say, oh, five, I remember these numbers, right? If you did not get a chance to memorize your multiplication table, it's not too late, do it this week. Next week, it might be too late. Week five, it might be too late because we would have, the, the train would have gone past that road and we're zooming for it. But right now, Please do it if you haven't. If they're both divisible by five, what do we get? Seven, seven over eight. eight. Great, again, because we asked ourselves five times what will give us 35? Seven. We asked ourselves five times what will give us 40? Eight. Again, the multiplication table. 10 over 16, what are they both divisible by? Two. Two, okay. So what do we get? Five over eight. Last but not least, as a class, what does 8 and 36 have in common? Yeah. 4, okay. So if I divide the top by 4 and the bottom by 4, what do I get? 2 over 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 2 times 4 is 8. That is correct. So FYI, suppose you didn't see that they were divisible by 4. Suppose you're like, oh, 8 and 36, they're divisible by 2, right? So if you said that they were divisible by 2, which they are, right? Because they're even. What's 8 divided by 2? 4. four. And what's 36 divided by 2? 18. 18. So you get 4 over 18, but is 4 over 18 simplified all the way? No. What do you need to divide this one by? 2. two. So if I divide this by two, what do I get? I get two over nine. So it's okay to not div divide it by the biggest number possible because if you divide it by smaller numbers, that's okay, you'll eventually get to the same thing. You just have to do it twice or three times or you'll have to just do it a few more times before you get to the ultimate answer. But if you divide it by the biggest number possible, then it's just a one-step process. So I'm gonna give you guys a chance right now just to do as many as you guys can. 